Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today's video is going to be about Aegon, more specifically Aegon in Act 5, Chapter 2, Quest 5. As we know, it's pretty much one of the hardest quests that is available in the game. And we're starting off there for a reason. The main reason for that is because I hear time and time again that Aegon is only a good Labyrinth of Legends champion and outside of Labyrinth he is Medicor or too bothersome to use and so I decided to showcase him in uh, Act 6, maybe some variants, so on and so forth and see how he does and we're starting uh, with a full lane clear of 5.25 uh, and we're starting on path F and this path will showcase his abilities perfectly now first fight we have against king root and he has like limber and regeneration and that's nothing kind of like too tricky over there however there is that annoying global node to contend to uh, basically those counters uh, we need to get rid of them before we kill the opponent because uh, if opponent would hit zero hp while we have those counters active instead he would remain at one health and uh, we would take a lot of damage the way to remove those counters is uh, whenever you land a heavy attack, you remove one. Whenever you perform an intercept, you remove two. And whenever you do add five hits to your combo meter, you get a counter on you. So basically, you need to be very cautious when uh, gaining these counters when using your regular combos, so on and so forth. Uh, but as we can see here, uh, we have... Uh, opted to mainly remove them with dashback intercepts because that works it is very efficient because each one can remove two and yeah so 85 hits in the fight the fight's nearly over it is also like pretty much a perfect starting fight for Aegon and later on in the quest we're going to showcase exactly why Aegon is pretty much perfect for this lane so King Groot does go down, next fight is Captain Marvel, but Captain Marvel fight is already made quite tricky due to the nodes on it, I will not check them here, I forgot to check them in pre-fight screen, but this short burst, lockdown and shock 30 basically means you need a shock immune champion, uh, unless you're running Aegon, because Aegon can shrug off all the debuffs, so we got rid of the heal block, of armor break, of shock of everything that it placed on us and we're pretty much good to fight as normal there are very few champions uh, that could deal with this node combination as easily as Aegon does especially if you do not have a flat out shock immunity because uh, yeah ability to shrug off all the debuffs is insanely valuable and it's the main reason why I like Aegon as much as I do because that just gives him so much versatility and usability in pretty much all of the content plus his damage output definitely is solid the numbers might not be the highest you've ever seen however the crit rate and the block damage is definitely useful and quite uh, up there with the rest of them so as you can see second fight already 50 hits and it's pretty much over uh, Captain Marvel that 3% health they're landing a heavy attack and that's a done deal uh, so yeah Aegon acted like a pseudo shock immune champion plus was able to deal with that short burst lockdown as well now the next fight is going to be Miles Morales if I'm not mistaken he has resistor on him and he also has Bane of the Malaya uh, and bleed or Bane of whatever I can never pronounce that word whatever anyway so we would need a bleed immune champion unless we're running Aegon because obviously Aegon can shrug off that bleed like nobody's business within the first couple of hits in the fight and we're good to carry on as normal pretty much now resistor path can be annoying because that does make these champions extremely bulky however uh critical hits ignore vast majority of the resistance my apologies my voice went somewhere uh away for a few seconds but it's better now anyway so we did make a mistake however combo shield did save us and that also gave us the furies that meant we did a bunch of extra damage and now we're just spamming heavy attacks because why not we're immediately getting rid of those counters as they appear and we can chain heavy so long as he is under a bar of power now at this point uh he's on a low health already so i do need to be careful how i finish this fight off i do not want to be caught off guard with that counter still in play and yeah so if we have him at one percent we're just gonna drop that heavy attack and that is a fight over 34 hits not too bad at all for uh, one of the more difficult quests in uh, the game available to us currently and now next fight is going to be against hood now hood doesn't have anything kind of like too special he has unblockable finale and that's 
that about it pretty much and uh so Aegon shouldn't have too much trouble here uh we just need to make sure we keep on top of our counter count uh don't get uh, then built up too much so obviously we can do some dash back intercepts some heavy attacks as you're meant to do in this quest and we can see that he's going down uh, quite quickly 16 hits in he's at already at like 67 percent it was now a couple more hits and yeah uh, Aegon at this point already does a really good amount of damage for sure these fights are flying by quite quickly and uh, we are not even being able to build up too much of a combo meter uh, but that doesn't matter because this is already more than enough uh, if i may add now i did uh, nearly butcher an uh, intercept over there luckily i didn't and we did catch him while he was dashing back now we nail another one we just need to nail one more and he's at one percent i can't block him uh, so i do need to land an intercept but i did eat one hit however a uh, combo shield did uh, save my combo from being reset uh, so we did take one hit in the face there it's not the biggest of the deals and uh, next fight is war machine now war machine is in fact quite an annoying opponent uh because it's 200 percent power gain uh, i did also kind of like had to pause the recording there because i had just arrived at my work i had to uh, basically make sure everything's all right uh, before i could carry on finishing off this line in the quest uh, but anyway so a few minutes later we're up against war machine he has this crazy 200 percent power gain also the second line which gives him a lot of uh, extra furies and that is definitely not a pleasant fight at all however so far we're managing just fine we're not cornered we don't really have many counters on us and if we do get some we are removing them in timely manner with heavy attacks or intercepts and he's already halfway down uh so uh yeah 200 percent power gain nodes are tricky to fight even for aegon as well because aegon does not have any inherent power control however uh if you have fairly decent kind of like battle sense sense of spacing and how to push opponent back uh you should not struggle too much in most of these matchups uh however some of them are definitely just too annoying especially if opponent is not happy to throw the special attacks uh, but now once again we're dropping heavy attack he's at 17 percent health and now we're gonna drop another heavy <laughs> Uh, to get rid of that last charge he's at five percent and we can just finish it off with level three if that does not kill him uh, then i'll just drop a heavy attack afterwards uh, but yeah Aegon's level three has a really long stun associated with it and it is definitely useful in this quest and many others because that can serve as a perfect fight finisher because you can push them three bars of power drop your level three and then just do a combo or two or even like three i think because that stun is really long especially if your combo is ramped up decently now next fight is rhino and rhino has aggression regeneration as the main thing going on for him he's also immune to bleed but that's not too relevant but as we can see at this point we are fairly close to finishing the lane off we're pretty much close to our max health we only have a couple of fights left and all of these fights get easier and easier as you go along just because your crit rate is improving your crit damage is improving the opponents drop faster and faster and you have less and less to kind of worry about your shrug off abilities are becoming more reliable uh, pretty much every single hit you crit <laughs> every single hit you hit does crit uh, we did see that we can also do a lot of block damage if we choose to which uh, is useful but is not my favorite thing to kind of do with Aegon because it often seems slightly counterproductive but it's definitely useful in some fights where you do not want to be striking opponent directly too much uh, but for most part yeah uh, hitting the block is not my favorite thing with Aegon just because I want to always build that combo meter higher and higher and un re unlock the next ability Aegon has but as I said even past 100 hits they're about to like 100 combo Aegon is already an absolute beast and the uh, rest of the abilities if you do unlock them come as a nice bonus like true accuracy for instance uh, at 150 which is still fairly early in the quest and you will manage to unlock it for majority of the quest but yeah so the rhino went down quite quickly and next fight we have abomination with bane and hence special one and toxic splash so uh, against this guy basically we need to make sure we are poison immune because that poison would kill us superbly quickly so we can recap on this quest line so far we had shock 
we had bleed, we had poison, and Aegon does it all, and does it fairly effortlessly. It's not like there are any poisons lingering just because we crit pretty much on every single hit that we throw at him, so we are constantly shrugging everything off that he could potentially place on us, and combined with the crazy damage Aegon is capable of putting out, and I'm not even using the mechanic where I can get hit on purpose to finish out the fights extremely quickly, the main reason why I'm not doing it in this quest is just because I don't want to get caught off guard with that uh, counter on and lose health while trying to finish off the fight. However, for the rest of the Act 6, he's also capable of finishing all the fights off much faster than this just by doing a 5-hit combo, purposely immediately starting charge heavy attack, getting hit, getting 6 massive furies, and finishing the fight off with another combo or something of the sort. Uh, but yeah, for this quest I'm trying to be a bit more careful, just because I don't want to get caught with my pants down and that counter on and take a bunch of extra unnecessary damage. However, now in Sentinel fight we can see that we are back up to 100% health, uh, courtesy to Nick Fury Gold Pulse Energy, and at this point we're just mincing in this guy 19 hits and he's already halfway down. Nobody can tell me that that is not a great damage output for a somewhat ramped up Aegon because people have this idea that he has to be on like some crazy 500 plus combo or something to be great no uh, when he's already past 100 hit combo he is already crazy good he shrugs off all the debuffs and he deals with them so effectively that you can essentially substitute him for a completely debuff immune champion and then you have all of these crit rates and everything else that he brings along. So 38 hits, Sentinel on Aggression region goes down like it's nobody's business. Now, uh, we have gotten to the boss. And this boss is the famous Paytol Mordo. If you look very closely, right next to that Mordo, you can see a small booth where Kaba Mike sits in selling team revives. Uh, but, uh, so, I should not have went in with Aegon for this fight, because he's not a great option for this Mordo, just because whenever I strike Mordo, I get... Uh, through accuracy and some other buffs and that triggers spite and I don't have any kind of like power control. Uh, so I should have just went for a solo with Wasp because Wasp can reliably solo this guy extremely easily. Uh, but I wanted to see how I'm gonna do with Aegon and we are doing some decent damage for sure. We can't really knock him uh, for that. The plan here was to ignore the global node and just bash at Mordo for as well as we can. And uh, so far it had been working out and <laughs> not doing too bad. We dropping our specials in time, dealing some decent damage, uh, but I will mess up, he's gonna get level 3 and then he is gonna KO me in a second, uh, so that was kind of a bit ambitious but rubbish plan I suppose, yeah, so here is his level 3, just because Spite is mostly active whenever I'm trying to be offensive, that gives him extra power, that did leave me with 10% uh, health and I could have potentially done a lot of damage here but I did mess up after that level 3 and we did end up getting KO'd. Now I did finish off this Mordo using the uh, rest of my team basically. Uh, now Wasp is a perfect answer for this Mordo however if you have a teammate KO'd you have 25% percent uh, reduced attack and 25 percent reduced ability accuracy that means that vital passive stun that ensures you safely chaining your heavy attacks has a one in a four chance to fail which is something that will inevitably happen and i'm gonna end up dying and then once wasp is gonna be ko'd nick fury is gonna have 50 percent reduced ability accuracy and attack however we will still be able to push down the mordo down to one percent so as we can see here we're eating the level three uh wasp is dead and now we're gonna bring in nick fury because of that double life hopefully chip down the mordo and all of this is kind of like messy and unnecessary i just and it all started with me wanting to check out how Aegon is going to do against this Mordo. Uh, Wasp can solo this guy easily, which is exactly what I should have done. Uh, but still, I wanted to leave this in the video just to show that even afterwards we somehow struggled with this guy, but we got him down. So here he is at 1%. I eat the damage back because I ignored the counters and I need to land a hit on him and that's it. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it made you look at Aegon a bit differently. Uh, but that will pretty much do for today. And yeah, if you liked it, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all the buttons. I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya.